Hello and welcome to our Chris Dingle at home and here we are again in our home for a Chris Dingle service. The service that you're about to see you might recognize it from last year because it is in fact the Chris Dingle that we had online last year. Never ever did we expect that here we would be again providing this service for you but hopefully for those of you who are unable to be in church on Christmas Eve to join us and St Paul's family because you're either isolating, you're away or maybe you just feel it's better not to come to church and be with lots of people we thought we'd rerun this service for you so please feel, I hope you've got your Chris Dingles ready and please join in the worship of our Chris Dingle service. So enjoy what you're about to engage with and, uh, and from Zena and from me, a very, very happy Christmas and blessed Christmas to you, to your loved ones, to everyone who you'll be meeting with this Christmas and to those who you can't meet with. A great, great Christmas blessing to you all. Have a lovely Christmas and let's hope and pray that we won't be doing Christingle 3 at home. Yeah, yes. let's hope so. Let's hope and pray. Have a lovely Christmas. Enjoy the service. Hello and welcome to our Chris Dingle service, our Chris Dingle service at home and you're welcome into our home. Some of you probably know our lounge quite well by now because it's been nine months that we've been leading worship from our home. So welcome to our Chris Dingle. This service is very similar to the service that is being held in St Paul's Church. It's got a little bit of difference in it because it's a Chris Dingle at home, but you're welcome to join us wherever you are. And here we are in darkness, quite dark in our lounge at the moment. And this year has had a bit of darkness in it. It hasn't been all darkness, but there have been dark moments and there's been times where we felt a little bit down and dark but through all of that there has been some light light shining in our lives and it's been the light of Christ but what I'd like to do first is just something rather special so Father Paul is just going to do something incredibly special Wee, and look what difference light makes. Whoa. The lovely light on our Christmas tree behind us. Gorgeous. Light in our lounge. Yeah, really lovely. And there are people that have brought that light into our lives, even this year. So we're going to start our service by just praying for those people. The people who this year, in 2020, have still brought light into our lives. So Heavenly Father, we pray for those who brought life in light into our lives this year. All those who work for the National Health Service, the key workers, the people who have delivered our posts, collected our rubbish, worked in our supermarkets, worked in our nursery schools, people who've taught us in our schools, people who've cared for us, who've worked in the shops, so many people who have continued during this year to bring light into our lives. We just thank you for everybody who's continued working and bringing that light into our lives. And we thank you for those people. Amen. Amen. So, Chris Dingle service. Not unusual. I'm sure lots of you have been to a Chris Dingle service before. So I've made a giant Christingle here and I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining what a Christingle is about because firstly the Christingle song does that and secondly I think that most of you have probably 
probably those of you at school have even had a Chris Dingle service in your schools because I know Central School has had a Chris Dingle service mm -hmm. and I think other schools have had one I'm as sure well. I'm sure a lot of schools have. So I just think, I'm not going to go through it all, we've got the orange that represents the world, the fruits of the world. And, but the most important thing we think about at this service is that light, the candle, the light of the world that came down at Christmas, something that we will be celebrating and we do celebrate every Christmas. And it's so important that this Christmas that we remember that Jesus came into our lives to bring us light, to bring us hope. And that's what we're all praying for this Christmas and for the new year. So the Chris Dingle brings light into our lives. Christ brings light into our lives. Father Paul and I have got Chris Dingles like I hope you've got at home that you picked up a pack somewhere or you've made a Chris Dingle. We've both got our Chris Dingles here and we've got matches. Father Paul would you like to hold my candle for me? I'll do my best. And light that one. Hope it lights nicely. Would I light yours for you as well Father Paul? I light these candles. Be very careful I don't blow them out as I blow the match out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to sing. Well, we're not going to sing because you don't know the words to it. In fact, being at home, you could sing it. They can't sing it at St Paul's, but you could. But listen to the Christingle song, Christingle hymn. It's called The Hope of Heaven. And it's been recorded by another church and you'll see their name at the end of our service as well. So we just listen to that now.
So to uh, Chris Dingle prayer, prayer especially for this kind of a service, where we think of Chris Dingle's and all the good things that God gives to us, and especially the light of the world. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as we hold these Christingles and think about your great love for us, help us to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. Amen. So very carefully blow your Christingle out. And wherever you are in your home at the moment, when you put this Christingle down, check with the grown-ups that you're putting it down somewhere safe. You don't want to catch fire to the house, do you? That wouldn't be a very good start to Christmas, would it? So very carefully put your Christingle down. What we're going to do now, again in St Paul's, the same thing is going to be happening. We're going to bless the crib. We're going to bless the crib that Father Paul and I have got in our hallway. So we're just going to move into our hallway to bless that crib. Let us pray that God our Father will bless this crib and that all who worship his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, may come to share in his life in glory. God our Father, your Son Christ was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib, which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it be strengthened in faith, and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns for ever. Amen. Amen. And we're now going to enjoy hearing the children at Central Church of England Academy sing Away in a Manger. loving us so much that you sent your own son. Even when he was a tiny baby, everyone knew he was special, and he showed us that love can change the world. Help us remember that though we may be small, we too can change the world, with love, kindness and courage. This Christmas time, help us to shine your light over us and all the people in the world. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and watch over you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you this Christmas tide and remain with you forevermore. Amen. Amen. <laughs>